The Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Friday, the 16th of October. I'm James Spann. We're getting set for the coolest air so far this season doing here tonight. Let's go in there and check it out. That's the upper airflow across the country. Panning up at 500 millibars. You can see a big trough over the east that will be amplifying, helping to pull down that colder air. This morning, temperatures are mostly in the 50s. Cullman 52, Tuscaloosa 53. The warm spots are in the uh, cities, Birmingham 62. But tomorrow morning, we'll be close to 40 degrees as the weekend begins. And up north, back in that trough, temperatures are below freezing over parts of the Dakotas, Minnesota, Nebraska. And that's a chilly air headed down this way for the weekend. Severe weather possibilities today and tonight. A marginal risk around Phoenix, Arizona, with this upper low progressing in from the west. And how about rain for the next seven days? Valid through Friday morning of next week. Still showing nothing here as this very dry pattern continues. And beyond that, that following weekend, it all depends on a tropical system in the Gulf. And there's still more questions than answers, as you might expect, eight, nine days in advance. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. But in the short term, the tropics are nice and quiet. All right, the 06 EGFS, ballot today at 1 o'clock local time. And again, this is at 500 millibars, troughing in the east, ridging in the west. And the cooling process begins today. We'll expect mid to upper 70s today. Yesterday, Birmingham soared to 87. That was only three degrees off a record high for the date. But again, uh, back in the 70s today and then tomorrow, well, you can see that 1032 high getting closer. Uh, the GFS is printing 41 for Birmingham. And again, some of the colder pockets could see 30s. The high will be between 67 and 70. Bright, sunny weather, a glorious fall day. And really, the, the exact same thing on Sunday. We'll start the day in the low 40s with 30s for the colder pockets. And Sunday morning in those colder valleys with the light wind, there could be a touch of light frost in a few spots. How about them apples? Then the high Sunday again, uh, upper 60s in most spots. Go to next week on Monday, same thing. We start the day in the low 40s, the high around 70. Still dry Tuesday, low 70s. How about mid-70s for Wednesday? The sky will be sunny. Thursday, same thing. We're dry. Uh, Thursday, the high creeping up into the upper 70s. And this is a week from today. And you can see ridging beginning to build. In fact, the 588 circle is on top of us. And we're still dry. And uh, down in the Gulf, we note a tropical low that is just off the coast of Mexico. This run of the GFS has it farther west than other runs. We'll keep going. This is Saturday the 24th. So, And this is race weekend at Talladega. So um, if this is correct, the surface low, the tropical low in the Gulf will be more of an issue for Texas and we stay dry, and this is Sunday the 25th, and we're still dry. As the uh, tropical system comes into the central Texas coast, that would suggest big rains for Houston, Galveston, Tyler, Longview, maybe Dallas, Fort Worth, and Shreveport, but not here. But understand, this is no luck. In fact, take a look at the European on Sunday the 25th. It's got the surface low stills in the Gulf south of the Louisiana coast. So uncertainty abounds, but there's no need to panic if you you know go into Talladega. We nobody knows if it's going to rain or not that weekend at this point. Uh, we'll have a much much better idea Sunday and Monday. And one thing to note: uh, those SSTs are much much cooler near the Gulf Coast, our Gulf Coast, and that should mitigate any you know big tropical storm or hurricane problems if this comes up this way. The uh, really warm SSTs continue. Uh, well down to the south and on the Texas coast. Temperatures here for the next 15 days. You can see that nice weekend cool down. And then for next week, highs mostly in the 70s and lows mostly in the 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.